Welcome back. In this demonstration, I am going to show you how to fold the origami rocket designed by Kanunko Kasahara, the designs for which can be found in his book Creative Origami. Okay, this model starts with the preliminary base and then moves on from there. So you'll need a square piece of origami paper to start with. I'm going to use an A4 piece of paper and make a square. So I'm going to take this top corner and fold it over and roll it so that the top edge of the paper lines up with the outside left edge of the paper. And once you have that lined up exactly, then you can take your paper and crease it right along that line and valley fold it. Then remove this other flap of paper back here. Okay, then you can set that aside and you can keep it for another model or you can recycle it. Then you should have a square with the fold from corner to corner. Take the bottom right hand corner and lift it up to the left hand corner and valley fold right along the diagonal once again. And at this point you should have what I like to refer to as the origami X. Then flip your paper over, take the bottom flat edge and valley fold it to the top flat edge. This will give you a horizontal valley fold, again, intersecting the center of your paper. Then take the right hand side and valley fold it over to the left hand side and crease that valley fold. This will give you a vertical valley fold intersecting the center of your page. Now take your paper and rotate it and take these two corners and bring them down to the bottom corner here and then squash fold it and this will give you the preliminary base. Now uh, we're going to take the top edge here. Typically to make a bird base you would use the bottom edge and fold it into the center but we're going to take this top edge and fold it into the center so that it's uh, just along that center line and crease that valley fold nicely. Then unfold it lift that flap up and separate that flap of paper and squash fold it so this crease lines right up with the center. Okay, now this is uh, the move that we're going to do and we're going to do it three more times. Once on this flap, once on this flap, and once on this flap. Okay, valley folding it in towards the center, creasing it lift it up, separate the flap, squash fold it so it lines up with the center and fold it back. Flip your model over and repeat the same two steps. Top edge into the center, lift the flap up, separate it, Squash it down. Take this outside top edge, valley fold it in towards the center. Lift that flap up, separate it, and squash fold that piece down. And then flip this side back. Now, you will see that you have a couple different flaps happening here. You have these two little points in the middle, and then these two larger flaps on the top and the bottom. Uh, what you should do now is flip this one over so you see this uh, horizontal line here, and then in the back, do the same thing, flip it over so you see the horizontal line in the back. And you should have then two points on each side. These are going to be the little rocket stabilizers at the bottom. Okay, now the next step in the directions it says to take this inside edge here and mountain fold it so that it lines up with the, the center line. So what I'm going to do just for ease of seeing it, I'm going to flip this one flap over, I'm going to valley fold this edge in. Same thing as a mountain fold, just kind of coming at it from the opposite direction. And then I'm going to take this outside edge here and valley fold it in, even though the directions uh, say to mountain fold. I'm just doing it as a valley fold so you can see. And the result will be, once you flap this right side back over, is one of the little um, rocket points here. Okay, now you're going to do that three more times. Once here, 
one's here and one's on the back. So I'm just going to take this edge, flip it over once, fally fold it inside. Take this edge here, valley fold it to the inside, center line, and then valley fold this right hand edge back. I'm going to flip my model over and do the same exact procedure. Flip this one up, valley fold the outside bottom edge in towards the center. Valley fold the bottom edge in towards the center and then over take this flip it to the right bottom outside edge in towards the center line bottom outside edge in towards the center line and flap that back. So now we have four little points down here at the bottom. One, two, three, and four. Now the next step is to take these four pieces and inside reverse fold them uh, sticking straight out. So you're going to want this, what's this bottom edge inside here, being horizontal sticking out here. So I'm just going to take this piece, I'm going to uh, inside reverse fold it basically so that it lines up with the creases that are already on the inside and it's gonna look like that so this top line here is perpendicular with the center okay you're gonna do that three more times one on each side okay here take it and inside reverse that crease and then line it up so that it's parallel with the first one Okay, same thing on the other side. Try to make it as equal and even as possible so that it stands nicely at the end. Okay, and the last one, open the flap, inside reverse fold it so that it's horizontal and perpendicular with the center line. There we go. All right, now we've got this look here. And then we're going to do the next step, which is folding this corner in to kind of give the, uh, the shape to the fuselage here. So uh, in the directions it says to mountain fold it. But again, I'm going to just uh, take this and valley fold it first to kind of get my shape. And you want it to the, the valley fold to be about here and end about there. So I'm just going to fold this over, valley folding it first to kind of uh, get my crease and then I'm going to mountain fold it backwards inside like this like the directions say. Now you're going to have to do that on each of these corners to bring them in like that. Okay. So I'll move a little bit quicker here. course uh, you know I'm flipping my model around here and there to kind of make it easier and this one I'm going to valley fold first and then I'm going to reverse mount and fold it back inside like the directions say so all of these by the time you get done okay there's one side done you can see the difference and they should be sticking inside like this and like that. Okay, do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to valley fold it first. Try to make sure that these two pieces here are kind of equal or at the same, same area. Okay, and then mountain fold that back in. Then I'm going to just kind of mark that one, fold it in. So it's mountain folded inside. This last one. I'm 
I'll unfold that inside. And this last one, I'm going to valley fold first to get the correct crease. And then mount and fold it inside. Like that. And so you see that shape take place there. Now, uh, next step is to take these uh, little pieces and valley or the inside reverse fold them so that they line up with this corner here. So I'm just going to open this up and take this inside piece and reverse fold it so that this straight line here is coming down. You can, if you want, you know, readjust that leg so it's sticking you know more out on a diagonal but in the directions uh, he has it pretty well perpendicular or sorry parallel to the center line there okay so I'm going to take the three more one here and just uh, inside reverse fold and then adjust it so it's the same size or rather the same direction okay there's the two on that side facing down now these two open this up a little bit and reverse fold this inside so that it lines up with so it's parallel excuse me parallel with the uh, center line here it's not working very well let me redo it this way Okay, so it should be pretty much like that. Vertical down. The last one. Inside reverse fold it. And make sure it's lined up with the other one. There we go. So there's our four little rocket pieces folded down. Now that's the end of the model in the book. You've got these four pieces, and when you stand it up, they'll hold they'll hold the model straight up like that. Now, one thing that I've uh, changed in my model here is I actually took these two flaps and tucked them inside of each other like this. What that requires is to take one of them, doesn't really matter which one, and sink fold it. So I'll just show you that step. If you take this piece here and you bring this mountain folded section back up and you just gently sink fold that section like this, kind of press that corner in and sink fold like that, you'll create a pocket inside of your model. Okay, so now we have a little pocket inside of there like that. Then you can take this section and just stick it inside there stick it inside of that pocket and then it holds this whole uh, section of the fuselage together okay so there's the pocket with the little piece into it so I'm gonna do that three more times one on each side so here this side I'm gonna take this side of it open it up you can see the crease right here. I'm going to sink fold just by gently pressing this corner in. Okay, like that. And reverse this piece here and create the sink fold there. And then take this corner and stick it inside the pocket like that. Okay, now I've got those two pockets stuck together. I'm going to do this other side. I'm going to take the front piece, open it up, and sink fold this triangle inside. Now this is an adaptation that I've created uh, for his model. Uh, the original design does not have this in it. So if you want the original design, just neglect to do this part. I just think that this helps the model stick together a little better. So if we're hanging it up, 
or something, it just looks looks a little nicer. Okay, here's my last one. I'm gonna open up this piece here and sink fold it. Just gently pressing that triangle in, reversing those creases. That. and then taking this little tab here and sticking it inside of the pocket and now we have each of those four sections stuck together so that you've got a nice clean even four sections and the model should be able to stand straight up like that okay and that is how to finish the origami rocket designed by Kaninko Kashihara, the designs for which can be found in his book, Creative Origami.